Hey guys, it's Steve here from Better Gamer Zone. We are just picking up on our Dead Space 3 uh, playthrough uh, with live commentary <laughs> with Steve here. Um, we, in the last video, we cleared off this passageway here um, and we're just about to head through into the service deck area. We've got our crap uh, line gun which it hasn't hasn't proven to be particularly good so far so we're just going to kind of head on through uh, we're playing this on hard difficulty to actually uh, make sure that we get bloody hell <laughs> so we actually get a, a, a bit of a challenge um, and, and, and some kind of risk of death because I think if we're playing this on easy mode or something like that it would be incredibly boring uh, to watch somebody just destroy all of the necromorphs without really uh, coming across any kind of challenge. Um, I think what we're, what we're about to do here from memory is... Um, whoops, what have I done? Uh, from memory we're going to go and try and start the uh, start the ship's power core possibly um, so we're, uh, we're in a ship that we just stumbled across because ours was blown up in space. Um, if you haven't watched the first two videos, highly recommend doing so, so that you can get a, a bit of an idea as to the, the story and kind of what's happened so far. Um, also, while you're watching, if you wouldn't mind just hitting like, uh, that does help our videos kind of get noticed a little bit. Um, so we've just come across these enemies now. I've not seen these ones before, although they look similar to something out of... Uh, dead space too, and I think it's probably gonna. Yeah, I was waiting for the uh, kind of tentacles. To, oh, usually they die. I think when. Uh, no. Okay, so you just got to shoot the tentacles off, basically because they're, they're going to be firing projectiles at us. Um, I think there was. Oh god, that's the only problem with these guys, is that they will just jump everywhere. Are you, are you having a special moment? Uh, that's what we need. As with all of the um, necromorphs, or at least all that I've uh, run into on Dead Space 1 and 2, the uh, the idea really is to take off the limbs, and that's almost like getting a critical hit, I guess. Um, and it does make killing them far, far easier. Um, and I think we're going to run into a point in, a, in not too long, actually, where we're probably going to start struggling for ammo, because that usually is what makes the game more difficult uh, is that they'll lure you into a false sense of security by giving you tons and tons of ammo um, and then you, you, you kind of get screwed over because you think you've got loads and then a couple of bad uh, bad attacks and you've wasted half your ammunition kind of thing so uh, yeah we're going to try and conserve as much ammo as we can and grab as much as we can on the way as well um, I think everything's dead through here although I'm sure we'll learn very quickly if we're, we're not, were we supposed to use a stasis? Ah, I guess the um, it's a good possibility that those fans are actually going to start up when uh, when we start up the ship's engines. So we'll probably need to use stasis to um to get through without being annihilated. Uh, just so you guys know, I haven't actually played through the game yet and uh, all of this commentary is coming from uh, going through the game on the first playthrough so I may be slightly slower uh, because I, in some cases I don't know what <laughs> what's going on um, but you're gonna get the uh, yeah you're gonna get the full full enjoyment out of watching somebody who has no idea what's coming um, and I think in a game like this I mean they're made to be terrifyingly uh, Terrifyingly scary, aren't they? Norton, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Right, I think that's holding them for now. Good. The SOS is coming from directly above. All right, so we got. And it looks like I found the ship's primary generator. Generator here. Looks like we going. got to. We should unlock the crossover um, for you. Drop right, this down. You? Uh, there's an elevator here that goes straight up the spire. I got a feeling that there's going to be things coming out of, out of the walls here. It seems like perfectly suited to. Oh god, why is it so loud? One of the uh, tricks. 
the game designers used to really great effect is um, noisy atmospheres because you really struggle to hear what's going on. Uh, there we go. Oh, little guys as well. Can I just chuck out your tentacles? I'm sure I took those, should have taken those tentacles off in one hit then. Okay, so let's heal up. I think we've got plenty of uh, plenty of ammo, I hope. Oh god, 27 bullets. I did go through a ton of ammo then from the looks of it. Uh, let's see if any of these guys have got some ammo on them. They usually drop ammo if you uh, smash down on them, for those of you who haven't played uh, Dead Space in the past. Um, so I think it looks like there's another one or two, um, one or two generators to, or bits of the generator to put back in. So we'll just drop this down and um, turn the generator on, and we're just going to kind of. run around a little bit because um, there's bound to have been something that spawned. No? I actually feel relatively safe. That's unnerving. Right, so we've just got this last one to do. And there's a Yep, let's grab this last one. Turn the generator on. There we go. I haven't really used stasis a huge amount. Although knowing that there's a recharge station in just a moment. Use whatever I need to to get through those guys without too, hopefully without too much trouble. So I think that's the generator up and running, without without kind of cacking my pants really. So that's 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 a good start. Um, I think where's the? Uh, I'll probably just run run in a big circle, haven't I? Yeah, looks like it. So grab the uh, switches here. Do we gotta we gotta activate? Oh, there's more loud noises. Hey, here we have power. The crossover just opened up. You're welcome. Rosen, lock, you stay put. Oh, God. Will with the uh, Got it. I thought I could hear something. Uh, there's more of them from the looks of it. Yeah, there we go. Really difficult to see them with this lighting. There we go. Those guys are down, and I'm actually out of ammo, or I've only got six ammo in there. D oh, don't know how I did that, but I did a bit of a bit of a roll. It's going to have to um, run around and grab some of this ammo um, real quick, otherwise it's going to be over very quickly if I don't get if I don't get some ammo. Um, did I grab it from these guys? I think I did. Oh no. That's looking slightly better. Oh, some medipacks as well. And I think... Where have we got to go? But, uh, it's not really showing too clearly. Uh, the elevator, maybe? Yeah. Elevator. The elevator that takes an absolute age to uh, to 
come down is usually a sign that something's going to uh, attack you from behind. Oh god. I thought something came out of it then. No, nope, we're okay. Uh, there is a grate on top of this one, which is leading me to think that, that there's probably going to be something that drops down. Maybe. Hmm. Elevator ride. Uh, what? Oh, that's, that's a good guys. At least it looks like it. <laughs> I knew you were too stubborn to die. <laughs> Captain, is this him? Oh, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's him. I say, Clark, great to meet you. Austin Buckle, Marker Ops. Uh, this here is General Versantos, our little lady with the big brain. If it's true you can decipher the Marker script, this mission might still have a chance. Isaac, thank you for coming. Like I had a choice. I know, I'm sorry. But I have so much to tell you. All right, come on. We have to get, get out of here now. No, not yet. Isaac, we need to stop the marker. The trail ends at the Admiral's quarters. She'd written marker scroll all over the walls. The answers are in there. I know it. We cannot leave until we know what it says. Yeah, well, then let Isaac handle the translating. We're leaving now. I got Buckle, you get Santos. Let's go. Oh. Go on, take care of your crew. They need you more than I do. That doesn't seem like the most sensible plan in the world, really. It, it, it doesn't seem like sending away one of the uh, military guys would really be that uh, that that good, actually, to be perfectly honest. Okie dokie. Well, uh, now that we've hit up uh, Chapter 4, seems as good a place as any to, uh, to finish up this video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit like and leave a comment and, uh, and subscribe, and you'll be kept up to date with all of the latest video guides, reviews, and walkthroughs that the Better Gamer Zone team put together. Once again, Steve here from Better Gamer Zone. Thank you very much.